Hey folks, welcome. Here we discuss real stories by real people from Reddit. Today we have the story of a man who walked in on his wife with her best friend's husband. Let's see how it goes. My wife has been struggling with her mental health lately. She has diagnoses of bipolar and anxiety. She has medications for this, but I've been questioning lately if she's been taking them. She's been having bursts of rage, mainly where anything that doesn't go as she wants or expects. I've been doing my best to calm her, but often it turns into becoming more aggressive. She doesn't turn it to me, but does throw and break things. I've recently tried to talk to her about this, and it went alright. She said she will tell her therapist and doctor what's happening and see what's next. I felt really good that maybe we can turn this all around. She's still been distant with me for a while, but I had hoped it was just part of what she has going on. Last night, she was getting ready for bed and left her phone in the living room. I'm not the type of person that would go through her phone or anything like that. She did start getting a bunch of alerts, so I did look at the phone. It was still locked, but she was getting a bunch of messages from a few people on an app. They were suggestive and at least showed me she's emotionally more involved with someone else or others. From what I can tell, I don't think she's been meeting anyone else, but I don't know for sure. How do I confront her with this? She's been increasingly unstable lately, so I'm trying to avoid a major blowout. Or do I plan my exit strategy? I have thought about, but also want to at least know why she's doing this. Update 1. I'm going to try to keep this not too long. I'm pissed, so things may be jumbled. I knew my wife was messaging men while she's manic. She is bipolar, but she's remorseful and says it means nothing once she's stable. Two days ago, I came home to get something I forgot and I walked in on my wife and her best friend's husband. It wasn't my finest moment. I went into a rage and hit him. I told my wife to not be there when I came home. She went to her parents and I've contacted a lawyer to divorce her. I know him and his wife well. We double date a lot and this is her best friend since they were kids. Do I tell his wife or do I give them a chance to? As of now, she doesn't know anything about this. Edit. I told his wife and she was devastated. I don't like being the one to break the news. She's not letting him come home and will likely divorce him. I think I'm still in shock from walking in on it. I can't get that image out of my mind either. At this point, I'm telling everyone I can. Update 2. My wife and I are in our late 20s and have had a happy relationship. She's diagnosed bipolar, which has created some challenges, but we have managed to get through. I try to be supportive and help her how I can. A few days ago, I came home to get something I forgot and without any warning, walked in on my wife with her best friend's husband. This friend is a friend she's had since they were kids. I flew into a rage and hit him. I told her to get out and not be there when I return. I'm not sure where she's staying. I've since told his wife, who was devastated, and said she'll think about divorce. He's still there, but they have a child. We don't have any children. I want to see his life ruined. I want to see him end up on the street. I'm so angry that this happened, that he would do that to me. These were our friends. My wife keeps texting and calling now, apologizing. She's leaning on the bipolar for her impulsive behavior. I haven't answered her at all. It's too raw and that image is seared into my mind. I've been sleeping in the guest bedroom and got rid of the bed I caught them on. My anger has been getting the best of me lately. Update 3 my wife and I are in our late 20s and I filed for divorce around a week ago. A little prior to that was when I discovered my wife was having an affair with her best friend's husband. She's bipolar, which isn't an excuse, but she's claiming it's what's driving her behavior. I'm in the process of filing for divorce from her. After I discovered the affair by catching them in my bed, I kicked her out. I did not know where she went. For additional context, her best friend's husband is still at home. His wife is trying a reconciliation, as they do have a child. My wife and I have no children, so this is easier. My wife texted and called me some, apologizing, but I wasn't responding. Yesterday, she's texted me more, and I was ignoring it. I felt she was baiting me with the talk of self-destruction, etc. I got contacted by her other friend and her sister. She's apparently in a different state and engaging in risky behavior, including alcohol, sex, and drugs. She sent some pictures to her friend that I didn't need to see. My question is, is this my problem? They are coming to me like it is since we are still married. They are telling me I need to get her committed. I have no idea the process on that or if it's possible. If she keeps on it, does this affect the divorce process? I've contacted my lawyer, haven't heard back yet, but I was also looking forward to see if anyone has experienced this situation. I'd really like to wipe my hands of all this. Update 4. I've been angry since I walked in on them. My soon-to-be ex, wife, and her best friend's husband. I filed for divorce and kicked her out. I told her best friend what I knew. We have no kids. 
but her best friend has one and opted for reconciliation. That made me angrier. He doesn't deserve that, but I did my best to let it go. My wife texted and called nonstop afterwards until I blocked her. I needed to think. She's staying with the excuse of it being her bipolar, spinning her into these things. Then how long was the affair? I couldn't let it go and I unblocked her. I agreed to drop off some of her things and talk. I get there and she's sorry. She tries to sleep with me, but I wasn't going to play into that. She's telling me she lost her life and is sorry. She has no one now. I start to feel bad for her. I ask her how long did it go on for? Six months. Six months? How can she say it was her impulsiveness from her bipolar when it's been going on for six months? I try to stay calm. Her phone was on the coffee table and I see messages coming in. From him. This hurts and I'm thinking I shouldn't have seen her. I left right then and there. I blocked her again. I feel like an idiot. Update 5. I've spoken with my lawyer and it's looking like we could be close to being divorced. I will have to concede some things, but it can be done. One being I'll have to sell the house and move, which isn't all bad. I can't be too stubborn here no matter how hurt I am. I can be truly single and rebuild. I've had no contact with her. She's messaged me a few times, but I've not responded. She apologizes like it means something. How can it mean something when she's still seeing this also married guy? She still says she wasn't in her right mind during the affair because of the bipolar. The whole six months? What about now? She seems level from what I can tell now, but she's a ticking time bomb. There's a sliver of me that cares how she is. I still have a shred that cares if she goes off the deep end again. That tiny piece that cares if she's drinking more than usual or doing other things. The part that knows how much she's been through. I should have seen the red flags the day I met her. I should have seen that she was a narcissistic sociopath. I wanted to save her. This is where I get off the ride. The divorce is almost done and she will officially not be my problem. I crave it, but I also have no clue what my future looks like. Final update. It's been some time since I have posted. I've been divorced and I'm beginning to feel that I'm figuring out life by myself. My ex is currently in impatient for her mental illnesses. I do wish her to have some peace. During this process, I did discover she experienced a lot of abuse as a kid. I did not know this and she'd been keeping it a secret. In no way am I seeing it as an excuse for what she did. It gave me more insight though. As angry as I am with what she did to my life, I still found forgiveness. I've been looking at options for my future, including some solo camping trips. The idea of moving farther away is still out there. I haven't gotten into the dating scene yet. I don't feel recovered enough to try it. Hey man, great to hear you got out of that mess. She and her mental health is no longer your problem. And no, she didn't cheat because of her BPD. She cheated because she wanted to and thought she'd be able to get away with it. Hell, she did. For six months, had you not walked in on them, how much longer would they have continued screwing behind your back? And what if she got pregnant by him? You'd be raising a kid that's not even yours. Man, thank the fairy godmother you never had kids with this train wreck. Imagine being tied to a person like that for the rest of your life because you created a new life with that person. Hell no. You're so damn lucky. Forget the forgiveness thing. Push her to the furthest corner of your mind. Your life is a blank slate. Start writing a new story on it. Good luck. Now for some Reddit comments. Forgiveness is really for you. It's a sign that you have let go of the anger and the resentment that you had for your wife. However, you will never be able to forget what happened and that's part of just being a human being. I want to wish you all the best and I hope that your wife gets the help that she needs to move on and cope with life. People often believe forgiving others means letting them off the hook, but that's not what it means at all. Forgiving means accepting what happened and letting go of the anger and resentment for yourself. Anger is a reaction, but resentment is a choice. Ask yourself who is actually benefiting from it. Does your harbored resentment somehow hurt the other person? Who's actually the one being damaged by the stress that resentment causes? It's not the person who wronged you. If they're even aware of it, chances are incredibly slim they care. What happened, happened. Nothing will ever change that and what you thought you had is gone. Accept it and move on. Forgive but don't forget what you learned from the experience. Like, yes, you can forgive them too, but that doesn't mean forgiving them for allowing the situation to take place. Though every case, person, etc. is different. Recovering will hit you like a truck, I feel, bud. Take your time and do you. The pastures eventually will get greener.